What's up, Katie Bo here. All right. Uh, I've been doing so good, real positive. But I, I have to tell you something that you probably are not going to necessarily like, but your friends aren't telling you, so I got to be honest with you. You ready? You're a name dropper, and it's got you looking crazy out here in these streets. I will explain next. All right, all right. So, name dropping, okay? Name dropping is when you're talking to somebody and you drop a name, okay? That's why they call it name dropping. Yeah, yeah, I was with Idris Elba, so and so, so and out and so and so. And yeah, yeah, Katie Bo, yeah, that's my dude. I know him, you know, I know him. And you know, you're with a, with a party, you're around powerful people or whatever. Yeah, man, that man, Kyle, oh, that's my dude, man. I just called him yesterday. Yeah, you want to see his number? It's name dropping. And honestly, you think it's cute. But the truth is, it's not. Now, I wrote some things down. I want to kind of give it to you. But this is what I wrote down. That name dropping is a plant that grows from the root of self, low self-esteem. I'm going to say that again. Name dropping is a plant that grows from the root of low self-esteem. And I, I promise you, you probably don't even know that that's what's going on. What you do is you make yourself more powerful by, you know, associating yourself with powerful people. So therefore, if I associate, my, associate myself with powerful people, then I'm going to look more powerful. But what you don't understand is that when you do that, there is a study. That study says it doesn't make you look more credible. It doesn't make you more credible. As a matter of fact, what it does is it makes you appear less competent huh? and even manipulative. Well, did you know that? All that name dropping you're doing, did you know that it makes you look less competent and makes you look manipulative? Okay, here's more. Here's more. And the more powerful the person that you're talking to, they notice the anxiety that you have on you and they'll see through you like a glass of water. So here's what I want you to do. Oh, before I move to that, you really don't know who a person knows either because you might be name dropping a name that could be their mortal enemy. You have no idea. So ease up on the on the name dropping. And let me tell you what you can do. Talk about yourself. All right. And talk about the person that you're talking to. That's important. And then, and then if you get stuck, just ask a question. Ask them about them. People love to talk about themselves. So make sure that you do that. Okay. And another thing is this, and I'm going to move on to the main point. You got to be genuine. If you're genuine, if you're genuine about who you are and what you possess, what you have, what you don't have, I'm not telling you to spill all your beans. You know, since I was 12, I used to pee in the bed. No, I'm not telling you to do all that. I'm saying just be genuine. Say, hey, really glad to be in here. There's a lot of powerful people. Honestly, I feel like I'm a fraud. I don't even really belong in here. But I'm going to learn and I'm going to grab as much information as I can from the people that's in the room. That's you being generous. That's you being genuine. OK, when I say generous, I mean generous with who you genuinely are. There's a book I want you to read. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. In that book, he tells you some of the steps to be able to make sure that when you are talking to people, you don't have those little key signals and what have you that throw people off. Things like you're wrong. One thing you never want to do is tell a person that they're wrong. Like in this video, I never told you you were wrong. I did say if your name drop, you out here in these streets looking crazy. All right. People want you to be authentic. They want you to be genuine. You have to bring to the table who you really are. And one of the best ways to do that is to constantly work on yourself. I just gave you a book, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. Well, there are thousands and thousands of others. You have to be well read, know yourself and understand yourself so that when you go into a room, you're not qualifying to be in that room or trying to qualify. You already qualify. You're not trying to be something. You already are it. Even if you just got it on layaway, even if you are in route to just make sure that you understand that you by yourself are enough. And if you're not enough, you can be enough. Just put in the work and you'll be fine. That's why I want to invite you. If you're a man, the man up certified. Man Up Certified is a seven week curriculum. It's a boot camp, and we take guys through the tenets of what it means to man up the M A N U P maturity, accept responsibility, N is never settle, U is unity, and P is productivity. Most guys, when they go through this course, 
whatever level they were on, you jump at least three or four levels just by taking this course alone. Now, it's only a hundred bucks. That's our early bird special. Make sure you go to manupcertified.org, sign up and be a part of this incredible, incredible venture. Seven weeks, however, only once a week, hour and a half a day, uh, you get in. Early bird special is a hundred bucks. Make sure you do what you can to find the resources because this, when it goes up, it's going up all the way to what it's supposed to be. So get in now, pay the 100 bucks, get in and let us help you get to the next level. All right, manupcertified.org. Until the next time, hey man, I love you. Uh-huh. That's, that's the entertainer. I gotta come up with something else. Until next, I uh, messed up already. Just, it's bye. It's the Katie Bo Show.